A declaration of all-out war on the Korean Peninsula. But so far, it's only the talk that's heating up between North and South Korea. The North said on Saturday it was entering what it called a state of war. A series of North Korean threats, such as announcing war, scrapping the ceasefire agreement between the South and the North, cutting the military hotline, are unacceptable, harming the peace and stability of the Korean Peninsula. Stability is particularly important for the people who live on South Korean island of Yongpyong. It's near a sea border declared after the 1950-53 war that's still disputed by the North. Pyongyang shelled the area in 2010, killing four people, two of them civilians. My heart is beating hard every day, worrying what if the attacks happen here again. I'm still going to live here. I'm not leaving. However, I'm scared there might be another attack. If the North provokes again like it did in 2010, I think there will be full-out war. I don't think the North would be that reckless, but they're just so unpredictable. On Friday, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un threatened to attack the U.S. He said it was in retaliation for joint U.S.-South Korean military exercises. Those included two American stealth bombers. As the U.S. forces support the South with their weapon-detecting capability, or B-2 stealth bomber, I do not think war will break out. If it breaks out, it means that the North Korean regime will fall. So how dare the North start a war that would kill the same race? People who are familiar with how North Korea operates say its threats should not be taken at face value. This is more about Kim pushing for popularity at home and to further their nuclear ambitions. I think the real issue is regime security at home. I think a lot of this language is meant for domestic consumption in North Korea to bolster the new leader. All this is coming from the nuclear tests of the last few years and then the UN sanctions that have come back. Right? I mean, the North Koreans have said several times, have actually stated this on paper, that denuclearization was their goal and everything else, but they keep rolling along. I mean, that's ultimately the real issue, right? The nuclear program, the rest of it sort of flows from that. But North Korea is known for being unpredictable. And even though life continues as normal for many South Koreans, Seoul is also ready for the worst. Caroline Malone, Al Jazeera.